it's a pretty clean cut. I like it. You know. All right. Blow it over with a bit of air. You know it's pretty decent when, uh, you know, she'll stand on its edge. Well, I mean, that's a 16. Okay, okay, okay. Or maybe it does for me, but that's the starting of it. And uh, that's a heavy gauge, much more heavy than normal. But we're going to solder. So uh, let's start folding it. Making a push block. Making it to push something this thick. There it is. This is a little setter. So now I can push something that thick on the table set. Blade is tipped to 45 degrees and is um, in a zero clearance throat plate. My, my push block will support it over that. brake is capable of uh, folding this without a score line except see I just made a little little bend and you see how straight that line is okay that is uh, what this heavy gauge uh, benefits from okay so now that I have a line I'll bring that over to here to the metal brake this is bigger than my aluminum brake, uh, capable of heavier gauges. In fact, I could uh, bend this without that, but it leaves quite a bit of radius and I don't want a radius. This is the bending gauge I'm running to, so we're just gonna bend to that angle. It's pretty close. Check it, it's a little too much. Bring it down, Come down a bit. Well, still, I, I overbend it a little bit, but that's what that's fine. This thing will bring it straight. Just a tad more. Perfect. That's it. First fold. Now I'm just going to fold the uh, I don't know what you'd call these, but they're you know at the end there where you they stiffen it up, right? And give you a bit of a copy. Once again, I'm using the same gauge, so I'm just bending until I get to my line right a little more a little more get that a little better to bend with
looks good. Looks good. All right. As you can see, the pieces are identical. Precision braking uh, without a brake. Go figure. Anybody can do it. Don't tell the tinsmiths. So let's look how accurate that is. We'll slide up our pieces that we're doing. Look at that. That's definitely accurate enough. Well, it doesn't look like I'm going to get done today because I had uh, a bunch of visitors and it was pretty fun. Uh, but here's uh, how I'm going to make the mitered joints. So I just made uh, a mirror image of this negative holding, holding that folded piece. So now all I have to do is I'll slide that to the end. I'll trace on the back of that with a pencil or a marker. I'll cut that on the bandsaw rough, just like this, and then we'll use this jig and just slide with the fence here and tell that that is a 45 and sneak up on our joint. So let me show you how this part's going to sit on there. I'll solder this all together. I may come out later, but you can see it just sits on there, giving me enough room behind, behind that copper to put some flex wrap in this location. Anyway, heavy gauge copper should be pretty cool. Hopefully I can get that done tomorrow. Ready to solder. What you doing there, Jack? So I'm just soldering up the copper head here, or the copper flashing for the top of the, and uh, this is that beautiful uh, 16 inch copper that you gave me. I figured it was a good use for it. Oh yeah, it's, well, it's a little easier to work with, right? There a little we go. easier to solder. So I'm just, see, I'm just, just gonna tack the corner. And let it run a bit. Yeah, and then we'll go around. You can see I've done that and that. And then I'll flip it over and move around. And uh, that's going to be amazing. Yeah, I mean, that profile. Oh, it's looking, deadly. It's, it's looking deadly. really nice. It's deadly. Obviously nice. upside down. Very nice. That's a proper flashing. Nothing wrong with that flashing at all. Just letting her cool down, we'll pop it out and clean it out. Okay, it's flat. Ain't that a nice flashing, the way they used to do it, eh? Maybe not in that gauge, but makes that gauge is a little easier for, you know, the untrained to work with, holds rigid and stuff like that. And as you can see, you can solder it fairly easy. So now we're gonna clean the exterior, get the, you know, wire wheel, the, the solder off, because we only wanna see copper, but the actual joints are, you know, those are, those are very good, right? Very good joints, right? And then let's, uh, let's see how it fits. If it's a little too small, I can, uh, you know, file this inside edge. What do you think? Good enough? Oh, a little gap. Should be able to do something with that. Copper, love it. Here we have the Wild Jack invading into the blacksmith shop Great. using, using awesome. my tools. They're awesome. Look at this. Look at this thing for putting the finish on my uh, on my thing. Hey, isn't that beautiful, guys? Yeah. yeah. I guess I guess Scotch Bright belts have their purposes. Oh well, Scotch Bright belts with motors, man. 
That's what you want. You want Scotch Brite dumped with the motor. Look at how beautiful that is. Now don't you wish you could put that kind of flashings all over your house? Nice heavy solder. Hey no uh, cocking boys. Yeah. Thanks man. Ba -ba. <laughs> Not bad. Come check it out, Nick. You're like perfect, man. Yeah, I think that looks all right. So I'm glad we didn't do actually the uh, the other stuff. What, or are you saying you're glad that you listened to me? I'm glad I listened to you. <laughs> Not always, but that time for sure. And for the Nick uh, told me to use his machine, and that's the way to finish that copper. So we're going to leave it rough like that and let her go. I won't oxidize it to go green, but uh, we'll have to wait 20 years. Thanks, Nick. No problem, Jack. What are you doing now there, Jack? Okay, so I've got um, shrink wrap taped onto here and a band of uh, thermal plastic mastic. Mmm, goo. This is all taped off, so that's going to squeeze out. This is what's going to hold hold the this in place. So I'm going to just push that down onto it. There we go. There, it's coming out the top edge. Oh, yeah. Okay, so that is definitely not going to go. Another minute? Yeah. Yeah, okay. And you can come in with the camera and take a look. And we'll say, hey, how good is that? Yeah. Oh, come on, take the tape. There we go. That's how you. That's how you. If you know someone wants to take a look up close at the very pinnacle of your tower, you know, can I remember yeah. Fred Devine might be up in heaven looking down and going, "Okay, Forsberg, that's okay." Yeah, I suppose it's not bad, huh?